Let's get to our guest this morning. Uh, first off, we're going to start off with Janine Yudakis. And Janine, welcome. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Oh, it's good to have you, Janine. And um, Janine, why don't you tell our audience a little bit about yourself? Um, you know, you started, I know, in teaching, and now you're on your own business. Talk about that a little. Well, I knew, I always knew I wanted to be an educator. I, I love children, and so I became a health and physical education teacher. I taught for 12 years, and then God blessed me with two beautiful children. And I knew then that they had to be my students. So I left teaching uh, for about seven years, but my passion never died. So I said, well, what do I do? I don't want to leave my children. Mm -hmm. I want to teach. So I created Be a Duck. And mm -hmm. now I get to go out and teach all these wonderful children and still stay very close to my own. I'm mm -hmm. very blessed. That's great. There's so many people that uh, I've seen take that route that, uh, uh, you know, had a passion for what they were doing, took, stayed home to raise their kids, wanted to stay home to raise their kids, but had that still had that burn inside them. And uh, that's a great way to do it. And I encourage people, starting your own business gives you that flexibility, right? And uh, the ability oh, yes. to not only be with the kids, but also do work when you can. Um, it can be demanding. So, you know, <laughs> I give you a lot of kudos for <laughs> handling, juggling it all, you know. Uh, but uh, that's great. And uh, we're going to talk more about Be a Duck today. And we're going to talk some general stuff about starting a business, because I know you've been through all the throws and you're still developing and so forth. We also have with us today Gary Gelman. And uh, Gary's got a little bit more far farther along with his business, and um, it's Gelman Images. And uh, I've met Gary several years ago, and he does great work. Gary, be excuse me, before we get into the topic that I know we really want to hit on in the next segment, let's start off with introducing you to our guest. So, Gary, good morning and welcome. Well, thank you for having me. It's really an honor to be here. You know, my, my business actually started in school, too. Actually, I was in the library at my high school, at Frill Township High School, mm. when I heard on the announcement they were going to start a TV studio in town. So I got involved with the TV studio and uh, went off to college, continued TV and video production, and then started my own business in 1989, was about 22 years old, while providing TV and corporate productions for clients, and that, again, like I said, that was 1989. About uh, 12 years ago, we started photography, so now, as both technologies merge, we've become image makers, so that's where oh, the image maker comes in. <laughs> so we've been doing this uh, almost 22 years, uh, my wife and I. And our daughters um, are growing this business. We've got about uh, six employees. Oh, that's great. That's great. So you took a, uh, something you loved in high school mm -hmm. and you drove it into a uh, thriving, not only photography, but video business as well. Correct, yeah. And uh, let's talk about that for a second. You know, you've been in the business now, you said in 1989. Mm -hmm. So obviously you have a little experience under your belt. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned the transition with video and, and uh, photography that obviously huge changes in the last few years. Mm -hmm. What do you think the most dynamic change has been for your business? Business in the last few years, especially having to merge those two technologies? Well, if you think when you say few years, it really started back in the late 80s when you had a computer, you had a video camera, and you had this thing uh, uh, called a still camera that used film. So as the progression happened over the last 20 years, you saw all three technologies really mo mo move it together. It also includes telephones. So you had all these four different things, and um, they've merged over the years. So the, the most challenging part of, of working in a business with such great technology is how the technology changes so quickly and how quickly they merge to be as close as possible to one another. So on my video camera, I can shoot HD video and pull great quality still images. On my still camera, I can shoot video that's of decent quality. Um, so when you merge all those things together, it's, it's a great challenge because you're dealing with so many technologies that move so quickly and are so expensive, you need to be able to purchase items on time so that you're spending the proper amount of money on certain items so that they are not useless once mm -hmm. the technology is away. So right. it's really purchasing at the right time. Now there's a seasoned business professional who's gone through the, uh, the motions over the last several years, especially over uh, technology. Janine, let's talk real quick and then we've got a break. What do you see as one of your biggest obstacles to a new business just getting off the ground? Money. <laughs> you need uh, some money, and uh, that is a huge obstacle, and you need to really plan and think very clearly on that, where do I put my money first? And uh, that's where I went to my business guru, Mr. Glenn, <laughs> and we had a very nice sit down, and uh, that's definitely something we can address later that, you know, you really need to put your ducks in a row and there you know go. where that money's going to go, because otherwise it'll burn out quickly. There you go. Well, that's why um, we, we do our best to uh, make sure that people get these questions out at a, at a show like this and we address money. And I'm glad you brought that up, because we do have a minute real quick. You know, money, as I told you, we have to be careful with that because a lot of people who want to start a business, they have two extremes that I find. Sometimes they, under, usually they way underestimate what they need and the money becomes a stumbling block for them right away. 
and uh, they see it as a wall that they can't get over or can't get through, and they start to get totally focused on the money, mm -hmm. and that's what it becomes all about. And if your business is all about the money, let me tell you something, get out of it, because Absolutely. you're not, you're gonna, not going to have a happy life, for sure. But if some people can be, but the idea is not to just cast that off, right, Janine? And say, hey, forget about the money. You do have to know what you need, but if that's your focus, you're going nowhere fast. That's where I think faith comes in and God comes in. We're going to oh, talk yes. more about that in a few minutes. Because if you see something and you're hot about it and you've prayed about it and God has it on your heart, I don't care how much money it takes, it'll happen if you're going to do the right things. And so money needs to be addressed and you have to know what you need and how much you need, all, like we've done. We've gone through yes. all that with you. And, but more importantly, once you know what that is, don't let it be your stumbling block. Find a way through to break through so that the money will come. Because the money will come. Right, Gary? Yeah, of course. You know, the other, the other thing, a part of all this is how family is involved with this small growing company. You know, I was fortunate enough, I, I built my business while I was home with mom. Mm -hmm. So it was easy. But it's difficult when you're building a business um, when you, after you're married and have kids. That's right. But a really a, a, a total commitment, not only with, with God's help, but with your family as well. So that, for example, later on today, I'm going to have to um, do some work here on a Saturday. Uh, but, you know, and the total involvement not only of God and family is very important. That's right. Well, thank you, Gary, for that comment. Um, good stuff going on here today. We've got a lot to talk about. You're listening to Tandem Radio Live, the good news on business. I'm your host, Glenn DeLake, and here every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. to noon Eastern Standard Time. And we're talking today about business startups Q&A. So you can call in your questions if you'd like. 800-575-9564 uh, is the number. 800 800- 575-9564. Stay tuned. We've got some great stuff coming up for you. You're going to want to get your pads and pens out because we've got some good questions, good answers, and we're going to help you stay in integrity in your business and find out what God wants you to do in your next move.